Hello, hello. It is Sunday, yes, and it is time for our Children's Church 3 ministry. I am Yolanda here with you to give you another lesson from the Word of God. So I hope you all are ready, children. I hope that you have your Bible and your body positioned in front of the camera, ready to give God your undivided attention and that you don't let anything stop the distraction of you receiving the Word of God. So we strive to give God what? A hundred percent. Okay? So a hundred percent. So just give God this best that you can give him for the next 20 minutes. It may not be 20 minutes, but just set aside 20 minutes. And God will bless your soul and your life in a marvelous way. Ways that you would never, ever imagine. Okay? All righty. So here we are. We continue to go into this new year. And I'm just so excited because I know God got some beautiful and great things for me and for you and those all across the world, if we would just let him into our hearts and that we would allow the word to guide and lead us each and every day. So before we get started, let's go ahead and let's open in prayer, okay? Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Father God, we thank you so much for this time. And Lord, we just want to say we love you. We thank you for this life you've given us today, Lord. All the things we were able to do, Father God, we were able to clean our house, put on our clothes, cook, maybe go to our job, do yard work. Father God, uh, just all kind of things sometimes we take for granted. We just want to thank you because we know it was the strength that you have given us to accomplish and to do all those things. We say thank you. Now, Lord, we ask that your presence will be in this place. Touch each and every individual, Father God, that is with us today, from the youngest to the oldest, oh, Father God. Open their hearts, oh Father God, that they may be able to receive the word that you have for them today. And Lord, I know that I will, for the rest of my life, praise you and give your name all what is due. Thank you, Lord. Use me to speak your great word to your people. Amen and amen. Alrighty, I do want to say welcome to those that are visiting with us for the very first time, okay? Hello, and we welcome you. We pray and hope that this is not your last time, but you'll come back and be able to uh, spend time with us again as we study God's Word. So we know all month long, the whole month of January, our word is what? Self-control. Yes, it's self-control. And our uh, scripture is coming from 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. And what does it say? It says, God power has given us everything we need to live a godly life, okay? So anything that God put before us, anytime, anything that comes our way, guess what? We got it because it's the power of God that will allow us to be able to get through it and to get through it successfully and that we will win. Okay, so we want to continue to let that word go deep within our heart. I hope that you can be able to quote that scripture just like that. Okay, so don't forget every month we will have a scripture. Every uh, month we will have a word of the week. Okay, all right. So I did forget. Let us just uh, do our ver uh, question of the week. Okay, are we ready? Our question of the week said, what does wise words bring? What does wise words bring? What does why? Uh, what does wise words brain okay and we can find that in our scripture text today which is coming from proverbs chapter 12 and verse 18 all righty and i will read that again towards the end of our time so let us be able to dive in our lesson title today is what can you see it behind me it says choose your words carefully now i'm gonna tell you this month has been so fabulous because I know with self-control, all of us need, need it. And we're talking about using our words carefully, choosing our words carefully. Mm. Let me say this. Words are powerful. Everybody say that. Words are powerful. And so I'm going to read that one verse that is coming out of Proverbs 12, and that's verse 18, okay? Listen up, and I'm going to read two different ones, okay? Okay. Here's one, it says, evil words are like a sword. They will hurt you. A wise man's words can help to cure an injury. So 
That's a mighty word. Let's look, let's look, look at this uh, translation. This translation says, careless words stab like a sword, but wise words brings healing. So we just want to talk a little bit about words that hurt and words that heal. Words that hurt and words that heal. So when we talk about hurtful words, this scripture today is telling us that our words can bring damage and insult and hurt to individuals. And also our words can bring healing and help and loving and encouraging to individuals. And we as believers, God always want us to be a light. If somebody's in a dark situation, not doing well, maybe they're angry, mad, upset, disappointed, what that person needs is a word of hope, okay? And we are a people, sometimes we, what we do is we blurt out things before we even think. The first thing that comes to our mind, what do we do? We blurt it out, okay? But we have to learn and we have learned during this uh, month uh, with our lesson is that we need to stop. We need to pause. Everybody say pause. Pause. Pause to be able to process the words as we talked about in our early lessons. And that when we give that time to be able to pause and allow the words to process in our mind and we allow that spirit to move, it would allow us to be able uh, to speak the words that will bring light of life and hope and help and loving to any situation, okay? So we want to make sure this brand new year is 2022, okay? God has given us brand new things and we uh, uh, we need to make sure that we're going to be able to clean ourselves out so that we can get the newness that God want to put in us, okay? We know that January is the time that people are cleaning out and, and making New Year's resolution and making changes and want to do better. But then they say that the study says after February and then March and April and when the sun starts shining and uh, spring come and summer come, uh, those things that we set in order, they kind of sometimes dwindle and they we forget and we kind of just lose focus but I will tell you we got to learn how to stay in there and the word of God will keep us start, get back in there as I said about our challenging I said if you slip off get back in there and start it again when you made a, a, a promise to yourself when you made things and goals that you want you mess up that's not the time to throw in the town and say, oh, I just forget it. No, that's the time to get back up and say, I'm going to do it no matter what. I stumble, I tripped, or I even maybe fail, but I'm going to get back up and I'm going to start at it because I know that I can do it, okay? And God will give you the power to do it, okay? So with this here, we want to make sure in this newness that we put self-control. And that we put choosing our words carefully. And that we put that we will uh, pause to let the words process so that we can bring light in every difficult situation. And I will say that it's very true. That sometimes when people are being very mean to us, are being very hurtful to us, it can be hard. It can be challenging to look deep within our heart. Well, first of all, take the time to look deep within our hearts, to be able to search for those things that going to hopefully make the situation better. And then sometimes we do it and we put a, a nice word out or we try to be kind to that individual and it seems that it didn't work. Well, sometimes we can't see it but God can see it. And then sometimes we may not never know it, but God knows it. We just have to trust and do our part and God will do his. So I'm hoping that this work was very, very helpful to you on, um, Wednesday, we're going to be talking about uh, the hurtful words and the helpful words. So I want you all to come back so that we continue to learn about this uh, this uh, lesson and the word of God uh, just encouraging us to choose our words carefully. All righty. So let me read our um, question of the week again before we leave. 
And it says, what does wise words bring? You can find that in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 18. And don't forget, your, challenging, your challenge is to read Proverbs chapter 12, the entirety. Okay? All righty. You may have about 30, 40 verses, probably not even that, 20 or so. But it doesn't matter. Take your time and read the Word of God each and every day. Let that Word digest in your system so that you can get the wisdom and the understanding that God wants you to get from the Word that you read each and every day. All righty? Okay, I'm hoping that you all will be with us on Monday at 5 o'clock in our Bible study time. I want to know that, I mean, I'll let you guys know that we've been reading uh, the Black History books. Also, I added uh, one individual we will talk about uh, the whole month and uh, this month is Benjamin Benneker. And so a lot of you may not know that. I'm pulling people that we may not know that done fabulous and great and amazing things in this world that we need to know that our, what our people done. So join us at 5 o'clock, which is tomorrow, uh, for our Black Story Time. Let your family uh, sit down and use that time, 10 or 15 minutes, to listen together and then have just a small discussion and hear everybody out and learn from one another, okay? All righty, let us bow for a word of prayer. Father God, we love you and we thank you for this time. Lord, if anything we need now is self-control. And in this word today, Father God, we got that we need to choose our words carefully. We want to be able to help people, Father God. And we know that it's been times that we've said things that hurt individuals. But Lord, we just thank you for forgiveness that we was able to pray and ask you for forgiveness and you cleansed us. And Father God, you made us new. So Lord, help us to be more helpful and allow us to, to use words that will bring uh, joy and life and laughter to every situation that uh, is difficult. Lord, we thank you and we love you for this day. And Lord, just continue to keep us safe in your loving arms and help us, Lord, to just maneuver through this new norm. But Lord, we're so grateful that we continue to carry out your word as we live this life for you. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. All righty, I hope you all enjoyed the lesson. I did. Hope to see you all on tomorrow, 5 o'clock, our story time. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.